The color white. What the heck is it, and how can you use it in your art? Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Marie from Artistry by Lisa Marie. Welcome to my studio. Today, I'm going to tell you all about the color white while I draw a white dog on white paper. Plus, I'll share with you four gorgeous color palettes with the color white that you can use in your next coloring. So let's jump right in. What is white? Well, it's not a color. It is achromatic. That means it has no hue. White reflects and scatters all visible wavelengths of color. That makes it the opposite of black, which absorbs all other colors. But artists are known for ignoring silly things like rules and physics, so we treat white like it's a color. Heck, just add a dab of any other color to white and you have endless options for your coloring needs. With only a touch of black, you can start making a wide range of grays. White is all about possibility. But white is unique. You can't mix color together to make white. It is the absence of color. Let's get into the history of white for a moment. Did you know that white was one of the first colors used in art? Our ancestors used white in prehistoric cave drawings, such as those at the Lascaux in France, where they made images with white calcite and chalk. In ancient Greece, white was considered to be a sacred color, and in ancient Rome, politicians had to look their best by wearing white togas that were brightened with white chalk. In the 18th and 19th centuries, white was considered a fashionable color to be worn by men and women, probably because back then they were obsessed with ancient Rome. And when Queen Victoria chose to wear a white dress at her wedding to Prince Albert in 1840, she set a popular trend for white bridal dresses that is still commonplace across the Western world. More recently, in the 20th century, white was the color of choice for architects of the modernist movement for its minimal and stark look. So what is the symbolism of white? Psychologically, in the Western culture, white is often associated with light, purity, and goodness. It can also represent nothingness and simplicity. In many Asian cultures, white is largely symbolic of mourning. For early Christians, white was a symbol of purity, humility, and virtue. This was reinforced by depictions of the white lamb, which was symbolic of Christ's sacrifice for humanity. That's probably why throughout the Middle Ages, white was strongly associated with its religious connotations of martyrdom, sacrifice, and humility. It was commonly worn by widows in mourning up until the 16th century. And if you are enjoying this fun review of the color white, be sure to tap that like button and let me know. Also, leave a comment telling me what you think about the color white. So how do you paint white? Okay, so let's say you love to paint or color and white needs to just happen in the subject of whatever you're doing. White reflects all the colors of the visible light spectrum. That means in order to paint convincing whites, you must paint the subtle color shifts and value changes that are happening all around it. Yup, your white subject matter will reflect the colors of the objects that surround it. Therefore, the truth is, convincing whites are actually quite colorful. Just look at the white teacup painting by Karen O'Neill. She uses lots of color there. Remember, White reduces brightness, so although it makes a color lighter, it removes its vibrancy. So, when you take any color around it and put it on your white object, the reflected color will be a bit dull. That's why when white pigment is added to any color, it produces a tint of that color. Look at red. A warm, vibrant red will quickly change to a cool pink with the addition of white. It has become a less vibrant form of red. Also, did you know there are three main white pigments used in art? The most popular one is titanium. Titanium white is the most opaque white pigment and is the most neutral in color, but is slightly cool. Next is zinc white, which is made from pure zinc oxide. It was originally developed in the 1700s. It is somewhat translucent and produces a brilliant color mix. Then there's lead white, or basic lead carbonate. 
It is one of the oldest known pigments and produces very warm and intense color mixtures. Sadly, lead white is extremely toxic, so don't use it. All right, now it's time for white color palettes. I'll show you some fantastic works of art with white and their color palettes. Feel free to use these color palettes in your next work of art. First up is The Reluctant Bride by the artist Auguste Toulmouche. Auguste Toulmouche was a French painter known for his luxurious paintings of upper-middle-class Parisian women in domestic scenes. And this painting is full of luxurious hues. Also, this color palette is all about contrast. The vivid, strong white is central in this painting, while all those dark, rich colors all around her. The contrast of the dark surroundings really make that white central figure really stand out. Next is The Progress of Love, The Meeting by Jean-Honoré Fragonard. Embodying the freedom and curiosity of the French Enlightenment, Jean-Honoré Fragonard had an exuberant style in his art. He often showed the elegance and playfulness of the Rococo style. In this painting, there is a ton of elegance, and that billowing white dress is a strong, sophisticated anchor, slightly off-center, but getting lots of attention. To balance that strong white, he has a touch of red on the man, soft, lighter colors on the sky, and rich, dark shadows near the white. This color palette is all about balance. The third color palette is The Milkmaid by Johan Vermeer. Vermeer was a Dutch Baroque period painter who specialized in domestic interior scenes of middle class life. And look at all that white. But here's a perfect example of white reflecting colors around it. The whites in the wall, her cap, the milk, and the bread were all off white. They reflect hints of the other colors in the painting. But, because everything else around her is either a rich color, or a darker color, or both, the tinted whites still come across as white and are bright and lovely. And the fourth color palette is Whisperings of Love by William Adolphe Bougereau. Bougereau made extremely realistic genre paintings. He used mythological themes of classical subjects with lots of women models. In the Whisperings of Love painting, he makes white center stage. Just like the other color palettes, there is some dark shadow to provide contrast, which helps the white stand out even more. However, the colors are full of light and life, with the surrounding light greens and peachy browns. All right, that's it for today. If you want to learn more about color, go check out my playlist, Master Color. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video. And as always, stay creative!